my god. No, do not investigate that anomaly, Sai. No, no, this is not a season's LP. This is not a season's LP. Sai, no, no, no. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Hi friends, it's Wit, and welcome to part four of The Sims 3 Lepacy. So before we officially get into the part, I kind of want to go over all the changes that were made off camera. Um, so I did give Katie a little makeover. You can't really see it until she turns around, but she basically has this mustard colored um, sweater, which still fits her yellow, you know, favorite color, but it's a little more seasonally appropriate. She also has this denim skirt and some tights and boots. And then Cyclone also got a makeover as well. He still has the beanie in his every day but um i kind of wanted him to have this shaggy hair i think it really suits him he's so freaking cute i'm sorry i'm obsessed with him you're all obsessed with him too from what i've seen so like it's fine it's fine i did actually do a little bit of a reno i, I hesitate to call it that they do have 10 simoleons left to their name because they just paid bills I don't want to talk about it. I kind of changed the layout of the house. So now the kitchen is here and the living area is right here. I kind of switched it, I guess, or swapped it. Just because I feel like a bigger kitchen would be more of a necessity than a giant living space. But I feel like it's open enough. And eventually when they start having kids and stuff, they are going to probably have stairs right here and that will lead to an upstairs because there's not really any space to put kids in this house and I want them to live here for a little while because I'm still gonna have to like build their house and it's gonna take a long time. I mean, I don't have to build it, I wanna build it, <laughs> but that's gonna take a while. So they're probably gonna live here for a while and build the house up, uh, which is what I usually like to do. So I hope you're all, you know, down for that um, until they can move when they get some more money. I also put a door onto their room so they don't have to walk all the way out into the hallway to use the bathroom. I don't typically like shared bathrooms like this, but I feel like right now where they're at in their lives, it just, it makes sense um, for a young couple kind of starting out to not necessarily have their own private ensuite. She also has this really cute new haircut that I love. I loved the bandana. It was so her, but I feel like you know, she's starting to kind of grow a bit as a person. I like to switch up my Sims looks and they're also their personalities. So uh, she is no longer a mooch for a few reasons that I'm going to explain really quick. One, it is so annoying. It's one of the most annoying traits I have ever experienced in The Sims 3. Um, I mean, it's great, but it's like all she wants to do is mooch money and food from people every time she meets them. And it was kind of driving me up a wall. So in my mind, now that Katie's settled down with Sai and we have two incomes coming into this household, she doesn't have to worry so much about money to the point that she's mooching. But she is still frugal. You know, she's a little scarred from her whole parents situation where they lost all their money overnight. And I think it's made her very financially conscious. In my mind, that's the story about it. Okay. <laughs> the story behind it. Uh, but we're going to have them grab some pancakes. They both have off this weekend, which is great. She does need to go um, have dinner with Bessie. I think her name is. And then we also have to repair this TV. And I look and in their inventory is this TV that she needs to repair. My question is, what if I just like don't return it? What what would happen? Would anything happen? So we're gonna try this out. I know you're scared, I know. But what if we get a free TV? She is a klepto, you know, she is a klepto. So what if, what if out of all of this, they get a free TV? We just, we just keep it. What if we just keep it, you know? She is also unfortunately not nauseous today. So it looks like those risky woohoos were not risky enough. I don't know if I'm gonna raise the stakes right now, like the percentage or anything, because they still have, you know, quite a bit of time. They only woohoo like twice. Oh my God, they're trying for a baby autonomously. Holy crap. Oh my God. Katie, you have 10 simoleons. What are you doing? Oh, you gotta love uh, Enros Woohooer because that's what I can owe this to is that mod, this autonomous, risky, autonomous try for baby. So they're just gonna woohoo all day. Like that's how they're spending their weekend is trying for a baby. I didn't hear the charm. Hank Goddard and Tamara are together. The freaking cop next door. Oh my God, what if she moves in next door? That would be amazing. I don't think she's pregnant though. I didn't hear the charm. I didn't hear the charm. I forget if you still hear the charm with Woohooer. I think you do. 
I think you do. So I don't think she's pregnant yet. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Um, but you know what? We do need money. So I actually am going to, I'm sorry, Sai. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have to do this to you. Do you just put it in your family inventory and then I give it to her that way? Yeah. Return TV. I'm sorry. Listen, Vita's going through some issues with her husband, Sai. I, I don't want to be as, as much of a criminal as I am. I don't want to do that to Vita. Not in this moment. She's actually best friends with Vita, which I had no idea they were that close. But yeah, I love that Tamara is actually dating Hank now. <gasps> No, oh, they move. When did they move? Uh, damn, I was hoping she was gonna move next door to us. Uh, Katie took a trip to the art museum. This must be where Vita is right now. I know. I don't know if I've actually ever really been here. Who's pregnant? Susan Wainwright. Oh my God, did someone just break up? What is happening? Why is your heart broken? Oh, Fiona McIrish is, oh my God. <laughs> She's heartbroken over Cy. Fiona, it is not that serious. It is not that serious. You were not genuinely a relationship. Like you need to move on. Is she like this because I'm here? Oh my God, that'd be awkward. Oh my God, what if she starts a fight with me? Please don't. I am not throwing down in a freaking art museum. Vita, here's your TV. I fixed it. You're welcome. I was tempted to steal it, but you got lucky today. She gave me 500 simoleons. You know, I will take that because we had 10. Please don't kick my ass. She's thinking about getting married. Fiona, you're making me feel... Stop it. Ooh, I don't want to talk to her though. <laughs> I don't feel bad enough to talk to her. I'll tell you that. Uh, we also need to take Bessie to dinner and we're not particularly hungry. But I feel like maybe we should do that. Maybe we should go give Bessie. She's right here. It's kind of awkward if I don't say hello. So we're going to go say hi to her. This is an interesting place. This museum. There's like literally a toilet right here. I, I don't know what this museum is all about. Let's discuss fine cuisine and get to know her a bit maybe. And then maybe she'll want to come with us. I got to do this before she dies because she is an elder. And, you know, she was playing music when me and Cyclone fell in love in that pool. In the last part, if you missed it. You need to freaking stop, Fiona. You are causing a scene. You were not that serious. Oh, we want to go on a date with Cyclone. We'll have to do that. Please say yes. I need to get this done. I want. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, hang out sounds like fun. Any good bars? Um, there are no bars in base game, Bessie. Eat here with group. I think maybe this will work, taking Bessie out to dinner. I'm hoping that forming a group and taking her out to dinner will complete this. Oh my God, Aaron, Aaron, what happened? Oh my God. Um, I think I might've forgotten some mesh somewhere possibly. Oh, great heavens. Aaron, that's tragic. Pay no mind to the invisible woman behind you, okay? And then I have to go to work and I go to work 9 a.m. on Monday, due by Monday at 11.58 p.m. Okay, that will work. Fiona has reached elder status. She was too old. She was about to croak anyway. Oh my God, I sound horrible. This is not making it better. Oh, she's talking about her son. That's cute. She's probably like bragging about her family, but we're gonna disband this group, Bessie. Yeah, I'll definitely, uh, don't call me. I'll call you, Bessie. I, I, I just did this for, uh, for work performance. We also wanna get our handiness level up. I guess we could tinker with things like tinker with the sink. Oh my God, we got our first snow <gasps> what is going on down here is she running in on the water oh my god jesus <laughs> she's literally running on the ocean i love this game see sims 3 glitches are funny to me anyway i feel like the glitches that happen in the sims 3 are hilarious also yeah this is size new underwear um has a little handprint on it you know Listen, they're a young, new, frisky couple. All right, we proved our handiness skill. We can now make many objects self-cleaning <gasps> and never have to clean again. Yeah, so we could totally do that. Oh my God, the toilet would be perfect. Upgrade self-cleaning for the toilet. You know, the handiness skill, I know I've done it before, but it's been a while. So this is kind of fun for me, actually. <laughs> before they go to bed, I am gonna have them risky woohoo. Listen. Listen, I just really want to see if my risky woohoo is working properly. So don't, don't, don't question it. All right. All right. All right. Let's woohoo. With the frosted windows. What a mood. And it is the first day of winter officially. And I did say I wanted to be inseminated by winter. So like we're, we're on track. We're on track. They're going to go to bed and I'm going to have them do their date in the morning. All right. So it is the next morning and we got this notification. Hooking up is easy. Staying that way is the tough part. Tamara and Hank seem willing to try though. 
and have decided to go steady. Oh, I wonder if they'll get married and have a baby. Oh my God, Tamara, have a baby with me. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. And Holly is now in a relationship with Ethan Bunch. It's early in the relationship, but still our friends might be having babies, which means we need to have a baby, Katie. Oh my God, they're trying for, oh my God, she was gonna try for baby autonomously again. Did you see that? I'm gonna have, I don't know what happened. Um, the game like glitched, but I'm gonna have them do it because she was going to, I didn't even, I, well, I'm not forcing it technically cause she was gonna do it anyway. You know, hearing about all of her friends getting into deep, serious relationships, she really want, oh my God, I am not listening to my phone the entire time. <gasps> it's making her want to kind of get her family started. Once again, she's not pregnant. It's just not that easy for everyone, you know, story-wise, it makes sense. I mean, I know that very well, that it's not always as easy as, you know, you might go into it thinking. So it makes sense for their story that they would have kind of this, I guess, obstacle in their way, but you know, it happens. And if they do try for a baby again or even have a risky woohoo and she's not pregnant, I will be cheating. I will, or well, not cheating, but I will be giving her um, the fertility treatment. So, <laughs> which is scary. <laughs> we don't have the money for that. But that's what will be happening if she does not get pregnant within, you know, the day pretty much. So, but yeah, she's gonna go pee and shower and then they're gonna go on a little date today and I actually want them to get like, dressed up. I love that he's reading. Oh my God. He loves this zombie book. She wants to hang holiday house lights. Holy crap. I totally forgot. Sorry, Holly. I totally forgot that was a thing. That is, yes, that is a must. Okay. Holiday house lights, hanging multicolored. This is always what I do is the hanging multicolored. Oh, I love them so much. Sorry. I'm actually going to have her change into her formal wear because it's really cute. It's really cute. Look at this. Okay, I know it's not very seasonal. They're probably just gonna change back anyway, but I think it's cute. <laughs> he can dress up too though. He'll dress up into his formal wear. I gave them pretty casual formal wear because it's not like they have the money to be dressing in like full on suits and gowns. So yeah, it makes sense for them not to have like super fancy formal clothes in my in my opinion, that's just how I like to play. We'll actually have him, he wants to go kiss her. So we're gonna go flirt with her a little bit and kiss. I don't know why it says that's inappropriate, but okay. Make out, I guess he could kiss a stranger. He better not, but that would be horrible. She's like, do you wanna go on a date with me before we start this <laughs> fertility treatment <laughs> scenario? Oh my God. Uh, what if they have like triplets? Actually, I have woohooer. So um, it's a possibility they could have like a 0.1% chance of having uh, quads. Oh, they're gonna go woohoo. All right, here's the test. They cannot keep their hands off of each other. Officially, they have woohooed like three times. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her <laughs> the fertility treatment. Since, you know, it's been a little bit tougher than she originally thought it would be. Now you gotta change back into your freaking clothes. You know, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because they're... <laughs> As much as I would love for that to work, it's not because it's winter. They're going to change into their, their weather wear. Let's go to the bistro. I know we don't, we don't have the money. Um, we're going to eat outside. The snow's too deep. Oh my gosh. Eat here with date. A hundred. No. Ooh, I did not realize that was a hundred dollars. Okay. That is ridiculous. We're eating at the diner. <laughs> we don't have bistro money. Okay. We just don't. <gasps> With a new child on the way, Tamara and Hank seemed a little shell-shocked. We were planning to have some eventually, I guess better soon but rather than later. <gasps> Hank had little to say and simply stared blankly at a nearby tree. Ooh, that sounds a little problematic, Hank, but Tamara's pregnant. <gasps> we gotta go visit Tamara. Oh my gosh. We have to. It's been quite a rush, let me tell you. Well, they were seen, they're both unpacking. So they moved in together. She got pregnant and they moved in together. And Ethan and Holly moved in together too. Oh my gosh. I love the story progression. <gasps> no one was really that surprised to find out Leo and June have ended their relationship. Oh. I'm honestly so glad for her though to get out of this relationship. I don't know if who, you know, initiated it, but she's gonna be so much better for it because this man is not loyal. <gasps> Oh my God, if he's gonna hit me up even more now, ooh. Ooh, I wonder if she like caught him with someone else. You know, you have to wonder. Next show is tomorrow at five. Why is she nauseous? Oh, <gasps> she is pregnant! 
Holy crap! She got pregnant the last time, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I forget how long it takes for them to actually get nauseous. But one of those times did it. Katie isn't feeling so hot. You may want to keep her around a bathroom from unknown causes. Finally! Oh my god, he's catching snowflakes with his tongue. What a freaking... I love him. Frosty face. He has received a face full of numb for making a snow angel face first. You can do that? I wasn't paying attention. Oh my God, he's funny. I love him. Oh, she's making a snow. Oh my God, everyone just flops down like in the middle of the freaking restaurant, imagine. I'm so happy she's pregnant. I'm so happy she's pregnant. You don't, you don't even know, okay? <laughs> so now she has a fertility treatment she might not have needed, but you know what? It's fine. Why are you staring at me like that, Christopher Steele? Let me live. I also do have an acne mod, which I haven't really played around with yet. Um, and it does look like it has been applied to him as well, which is interesting because adults do get acne too. So I wanted to have that kind of realism in my game. Ooh, Holly. Holly, hi. I wanted to be friends with her again. It looks like she has acne too. I'm not trying to point out everyone's acne. It's just, it's a mod I got. So I find it interesting that I, I'm actually like seeing it working for the first time. Uh, we're gonna talk about the snow and we're going to gossip with her a little bit, you know, you know. She obviously wanted to talk to us. She wants to tell us all about her, what's going on with her because she moved in with her boyfriend now, Ethan which is exciting. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we cannot go see a movie. They're not showing one till tomorrow. So meh, you know, kind of so. Oh my God, they're building a whole ass igloo. <laughs> you know what, let's help them build the igloo. Why not? Oh my God. They literally are gonna go woohoo autonomously. There are so, whew, I might need to even turn down the woohoo uh, cool down because they are all over each other. Oh my gosh. In the, they're, they're really gonna, in the igloo? In the igloo. This is where you're right next to everyone. Wow. Wow. Zero shame. Why are you booing me? You don't know how my performance was. Leave me alone, Jay. Public woohoo. Oh my God. It's always a different experience when things are in public. They have no shame. Let's see if they can go skate on a pond. Where is a pond? There is one here right at the winter. Well, it's not winter festival quite yet, but we could maybe go here and skate together. I know I said I wasn't gonna explore seasons until the season's generation, but it's kind of hard not to, you know, it's such a such an immersive expansion and I feel like it adds so much context and I don't know, I, I just love it, honestly. They are going to uh, go ice skating together. Ah, look at them. I love it. I love this, that they can skate on, on freaking ponds. Ugh, winter in The Sims 3 was so good. I love Sims 2 seasons, right? The penguin, unmatched. Sims 3 seasons with the festivals and the ice, I, I just love this. Ugh, I love it so much. Spin with Katie. Yeah, let's try, let's try. I just really love them. They're so, oh no, no, oh God, oof. Jeez, it's midnight and we have both have work in the morning. Maybe we should uh, end the day. Oh my God. No, do not investigate that anomaly, Sai. No, no, this is not a season's LP. This is not a season's LP. Sai, no, no, no. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. No, are you, did this seriously just happen? Oh my God, imagine if Katie and Sai are pregnant at the same time. Cyclone can't help but feel a little probed. What happened up there? Oh my God. Oh, she's gonna go throw up outside. <laughs> she's gonna throw up outside. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Fiona and Janie have been hitting it off well lately. Could it be love? Fiona found a girlfriend. See, I told you Fiona, Fiona would move on. She can move on. I don't know why it still says try for baby, I guess, cause she doesn't know. If he, what if they're pregnant at the same time? Boyfriend, girl, <laughs> couples, pregnancy. <laughs> We're both pregnant. Am I really gonna leave it on a cliffhanger and you're not gonna know? Maybe. I don't know when she officially got pregnant. They woohooed like a lot. <laughs> over the last couple days. Um, we're gonna have her actually take it easy today because she's not feeling well. She doesn't know she's pregnant yet. So we're gonna have her take it easy at work and hopefully she'll find out she's pregnant after work. The dinner with Bessie went incredibly well. Even on such short notice, your boss has been raving about how helpful you are. And it seems your relationship has just taken a turn for the better, which is great because 
we weren't we aren't super close with our boss which we should probably try to be he wants to take it easy at work too because he is a couch potato so i guess we're gonna watch tv tamara and hank have been telling everyone about the brand new home they just moved into shotgun style so i guess they live in this little house right here i am curious i wanted to visit tamara and see how her pregnancy is going um, but we got kind of distracted. <laughs> oh, she's finding out she's pregnant. Okay, she's like, I gotta leave work real quick, take a pregnancy test. If Sai's pregnant too, I swear. Katie just found out she's pregnant. She gets the next four days off. Does that include today? Thank God, we need to go home and take care of ourselves. In the next part, uh, we are going to find out if Sai is pregnant too. <laughs> baby why is this happening to me i don't know and we're also gonna go visit tamara because i really want to see how her pregnancy is going so we're gonna have babies super close in age which is gonna be awesome i'm so glad i'm not gonna have her eat any watermelons or apples i like to leave it up to uh fate i guess so to speak so yeah i don't know if she got pregnant before or after the fertility treatment i think possibly before so e i'm kind of wondering if I should have waited. I got a little impatient. I'll talk to you all in my next one.